But first, ABC 17's Zach Boetto leads off our team coverage tonight with details on what mid-Missouri law enforcement is doing to prepare for the increase in drivers. And Zach, the Highway Patrol says they will be strictly enforcing DWI and underage drinking laws over the holiday. Hey, Lucas and Deb, starting today and going till Monday, law enforcement is stepping up that DWI enforcement. We're now in the deadliest 100 days of summer, which is from Memorial Day until Labor Day, and law enforcement is trying to save lives. So anytime there's a holiday like the 4th of July where we know people are going to get together and gather and celebrate, um, we always want to remind people that it's it's never okay, it's never a good decision uh, to drink and then get behind the wheel. MoDOT officials expect this year's 4th of July holiday to break travel records after the pandemic kept much of the United States inside for last year's Independence Day celebrations. But with increased activity on the roadways comes more chances for crashes. There's going to be an increase uh, risk or a prevalence of impaired drivers on the roadway. Uh, so we're working closely with our law enforcement partners to make sure they're out there ready to stop anyone who might be putting uh, others in the public at risk. During the 2020 counting period in Missouri, there were 1,356 traffic crashes, resulting in 671 injuries and 15 deaths. This year, that counting period starts tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And Allison Summers with the Mothers Against Drunk Driving Missouri chapter says she hopes troopers can get out ahead of those accidents. We know over the 4th of July holiday weekend, 38% of the fatalities that occur will occur because alcohol impaired driving crashes. We also know that these impaired driving crashes are 100% preventable. Deb Lucas, over the 2020 July 4th holiday, troopers arrested 145 people for driving while intoxicated. And it's just as easy as opening up your app and jumping on Uber or Lyft or calling a taxi. It's that simple and it can save lives. Reporting live from Columbia, Zach Boetto, ABC 17 News. Zach, thank you. Two people drowned during last year's July 4th holiday and troopers made six boating while intoxicated arrests.